Yo, what's good guys? I uh, have a blank FL Studio template open, so that means it's time to make a melody. I don't know what kind of melody I'm trying to make. I'm just gonna try and make something, see what we come out with. I'll give myself a 10 minute timer and see if we can do it. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna open up Analog Labs because I like a lot of the sounds in there. Came up with a super simple melody. Let's add some portal to this. Or right, first let's EQ some of the frequencies out of this. Now let's add some portal. Now let's add some reverb to this. Now I'm gonna copy this melody to another track and we'll open up another analog lab. All right, let's see what we can find in here. Find another bell or a synth. Let's add half time to this. Hard. Now let's add another lo-fi synth sound to this. I like this melody, but I don't like the sound. Let's add some magic switch and some reverb to this. Alright, sick. Let's add another analog lab. I've been messing with analog lab a lot recently. Alright, let's see what we got. I like this. Let's add some RC20 and just detune the shit out of this as well. Very little bubble stereo. Turn the magnitude down. There we go. I want to add a little bit of delay to this. Put this delay to the top, preset, ping pong. Let's stop, turn this wetness down. There we go. Shorten those up and we'll put this down here. Just so we have a little bit of repetitive repetitiveness in the background. Okay, I like that. Let's just EQ some of the frequencies again. Now for some sub bass. Decided to add a uh, ambient pad in the background instead. Now I'll add the sub bass. So I cut the recording there real quick so I could find a bass. It's taking me a little bit longer than I would have liked. Um, but I found not a sub bass. It's kind of like a horror bass. Here, I'll play it um, alone and then I'll play it with the melody. And this is what it sounds like with the melody now.
that's hard um okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this before we lose it um, so what I do to save is I check to see what scale I'm in. So I'm an E minor. So save this as shadowing. I don't know what to call it. Uh, 155 BPM. So E minor. Save it under the title. Make sure it's under the current month. Save. All right, saved. Now what we can do is go to the melody. Split these. I right click, click S. Select all. Drag them to the tracks. The tracks rename. the heck no, that's fine there we go okay so i want to click delete all these drag these in i need my markers at the top copy this over delete this copy this over delete those this is how i export my stems this will be in my february loop kit so if you're watching this video and you like it stay tuned for the end of february when i drop my february loops uh this one will be called shadowing so if you look out for that it'll be this loop. All right, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It was a pretty quick one. Uh, I made this melody in under, I'm gonna say 15 minutes. So the goal of 10 minutes seems like it was met. A couple of minutes was probably just waiting for stuff to open. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like. Um, I'll keep on making more melody breakdowns. I also have some producer tech tips coming up that I'm planning uh, the scripts for. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, but I'm PJ and I'm out.